Mission Impossible. How did you end up in that? Well, Bruce Geller was a young writer who came to my acting classes, and the classes, as I mentioned, with Jack Nicholson and Harry Dean Stanton, and, and he was a young writer who wanted to learn about actors, so he came to acting classes and functioned in those classes. And he created Mission Impossible. He wrote it and was exec producer of it. And uh, my ex-wife, Barbara Bain, was in my acting class. And he basically wrote this character for me. It was originally called Martin Land. And I said, you know, that... Uh, I only was supposed to do the pilot, the first one. Barbara, on the other hand, was a continuing character because he needed, uh, and Barbara is a method trained actress, I mean also a member of the actor's studio, and often teaches sessions there. He wanted, in Barbara, he wanted Marilyn Monroe and Grace Kelly in the same person, someone who could play that and that. Barbara could. She had an elegance, she could also play a little less elegant. And uh, he knew that I could because hanging around with me, he knew that, that I could talk all kinds of ways, like Germans, and I could talk like New York Italians if I want to. You know what I mean? Hey, do yourself a favor and behave yourself. Oh, a New York Irish guy. This guy, you know, is sort of like uh, Jimmy Cagney had this kind of sound, uh, Carol O'Connor, Charlie Durney. So I, I could play uh, Italian. Italian, you see, vero. Out here, they talk like this, but the New York Italians are different. Their the parents talk like this, up here, right in the front of the mouth. So he, he had me in mind for this role of a man of a thousand faces. And I was, I was just going to do the first one, in which I played a South American dictator, then we kidnap him, and I impersonate him, and a 90-year-old man, and my character, I mean, several roles. Anyway, I did the pilot, and they wanted me on the series. They said, well, don't let him go. And I refused to sign a series deal. So I was a continuing guest star until the first year. Special appearance by Martin Land, I would say. And I originated that billing. No one had ever used it before, special. Now it's all over the place. Never before. Special appearance by Martin Land. And with two weeks' notice, I could get out of the series. But I did. 28 shows the first year, and then I signed to do the second year because of the popular. The show took off. By the end of the first year, we were in 69 countries, dumped into about 20 languages, uh, and a major hit. Now, I had been offered Star Trek before that, the Spock character, which I turned down because I didn't want to play a character without emotion. And Lenny played that. And then when I left Mission, Lenny replaced me. So, and it's all insidious. Did you feel that you wish you had done Star Trek? Oh, no. no. I, I, I would have died to play a character without emotion. That's like, it would, it would kill me. It's the antithesis of what I do. Lenny was better suited for it. Much better suited for it. Much better suited for it. I promise you.